hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video we have added our jump down parkour action but now if you try to perform it as you can see the players start jumping while on the obstacle as well so we are gonna fix this issue with our jump down parkour action so how we will fix that let me tell you so when we are on some obstacle okay then what we are gonna do is from the player feet okay in the forward direction we will check that how many distance are in between the player feet or you can say the player and the ledge okay so we're gonna measure that distance and when the player keep coming close to the ledge then we will deduct that ledge and then from that ledge point we will jump down okay so now let's go ahead and close the game and open up your text editor and make sure that you open up the environment checker script then inside the check ledge method after this debug dot draw ray let's create a variable by the name of surface ray cast origin and this will be equals to transform dot position then we will say minus or actually we will say plus movement direction then minus new vector 3 inside the vector 3 x value we will pass 0 for the y we will pass 0 0.1 f and then for the z we will pass 0 okay so this will be our surface ray cast origin okay because we want to create a ray from the player position and then in that direction in which the player is looking so for example on top of the obstacle is a player if the player is looking in the forward direction then we will create it in the forward then if the, if the player turns to the left or right then in that direction we will create array to check for the ledge okay so once we have the origin let's create a ray cast so we will say physics dot ray cast okay then the ray cast first of all need the surface ray cast origin and then after this we will say minus movement direction then we will store the information so we will say out raycast hit actually and then we will name this as surface hit okay then we will just simply pass the length of this ray as 2 and then at the end we will pass the obstacle layer okay and then what we will do we will move all of this code inside this if condition okay so once we have the ray cast now we want to measure the distance or you can say the angle between the player and the ledge okay so how we will measure that angle between the player and the ledge we will simply take the player forward vector and the normal of the ledge so let's go ahead and do that inside this if condition when the ledge height is greater than the ledge height threshold then in here we will say vector 3 dot angle okay then in order to retrieve the player forward we will say transform dot forward and then surface hit dot normal in order to get the normal of the ledge okay now in order to get this angle or you can say in order to retrieve this angle from this check ledge let's create a struct right here for that we will say public struct let's name this as ledge info okay then in here what we will do we will create a float by the name of angle then we want to save the height so we will create a float for the height as well then after this we will create a raycast as well so we will say raycast hit 
and let's name this as surface hit okay now let's go ahead and assign the angle height and the ray cast so in the check ledge right here at the top we will create a variable by the name of ledge info make the i in info capital okay then this will be equals to new ledge info okay this is the struct which we created right here so once we have that now right here in order to assign the angle at the start right here we will say ledge info dot angle and this will be equals to this okay then in order to assign the height we will say ledge info dot height and this will be equals to ledge height okay then after this we will say ledge info dot surface hit and this will be equals to the surface hit and this surface hit it, it is this ray cast okay right here and this surface hit is right here in the struct okay so whatever information stored inside this surface hit will be passed to this surface hit okay which is in the struct and then we can access these three anywhere and let me tell you guys in order to access these three anywhere in our project what we're gonna do is we will return that three variables okay the angle height and surface it so in order to do that right here at the top we will say out ledge info make sure the l is capital in this ledge info okay and we will say ledge info after that but the l will be small then in here we will remove this variable from the ledge info and then this will be equals to new ledge info now save the script get back to the player script then and if you scroll up right here in the check ledge we have added the move direction now we need to add the ledge data as well so first of all let's go ahead and create a property for our ledge so after this player on ledge we will say public ledge info and we will name this as ledge info as well okay then we will say get then set after this right here inside our check ledge after the move direction now let's also add the ledge info so we will say out ledge info then ledge info again and then inside the if condition when we say debug dot log player is on ledge now before this we will say ledge info equals to ledge info then after this if we open up our parkour controller script right here inside this if condition we will now say if player script dot ledge info dot angle is less than equals to 50 then we will say player is on ledge false and we will perform the jump down parkour action then if we open up the environment checker right here remove this round brackets because we don't need round brackets when we are creating a struct okay and also make the edge right here capital that's it save the script and if we get back to unity as you can see it shows this error which shows ledge info does not contain a definition for surface hit okay which is on line 59 so on our environment checker if we check the line 59 right here as you can see the edge is capital but if we see our struct right here in the struct we type the edge as small letter so we will change it to capital H then what we will do we will right here click on parkour controller script and now at the top right here we will say input 
dot get button down if that button is the jump button then we will jump from the obstacle okay so now if we save the scripts and get back to unity play the game now let's go ahead and perform the parkour action okay so if we jump on top of this as you can see the player is jumping now if we get closer to the edge and if we press the jump button or you can say the space button the player will simply jump okay as you can see now if you go ahead and perform it again from this side in front okay so if you go ahead and press down the jump button as you can see the player is jumping down and if you try to perform it from here okay so if we perform it as you can see the player is performing the jump down parkour action but if you notice when we are performing the jump down parkour action we still have the controls okay we can still uh, move the player if you notice it as you can see we can still move the player okay to the left right side so we don't actually want that when we are performing the jump down parkour action we want the player controls to be false okay and also if we get on top of the obstacle okay and now if we didn't press the jump button and try to move to the ledge okay you will notice it will show that the player is on ledge but as you can see the player is now not performing the parkour action so in order to fix this what we will do is whenever the player is on the ledge like this okay we will not allow the player to move in the forward direction okay because in many parkour games if the player is standing on top of some obstacles the player didn't jump automatically okay so we're gonna add that as well and also we will stop the movement while performing the jump down parkour action in the next video